Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Beauty Bay skincare range. It's Beauty Bay came out and they came out with a new skincare range and I picked up a few little bits from it um, and I thought I'd do a little review video for you guys. So yeah, this is only going to be a first impression. Obviously when it comes to skincare, you can't tell the first time that you use it. You need to use it for a few times before you can really tell if you're going to like it or that kind of thing. So yeah, I have picked up a few little bits. All this stuff is really affordable. I think I paid about 30 something pounds for all of mine. So obviously that is like quite affordable considering it's five different things. Um, so yeah, they did come out with a, quite a big range to be honest with you. They came out with a cleansing gel, a toner, they came out with a mask. I didn't pick up the mask just because it's not going to work for my skin type. They came out with a few different serums and a few different moisturisers. If you don't know who Beauty Bay are, they are an online retailer, so they do stock Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and also like Jouer Cosmetics, that kind of thing. They do stock loads of brands. Um, and they also have their own brand, which I think they launched 2018. If I'm wrong, I could be wrong. I'll put it up on the screen if I'm wrong. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight on into it. So when you order from them, I'm not too sure if you have to spend a minimum amount, but they do send you a cute little headband thing, which is a really cute. You can also wash this as well. I'm going to put this on to begin with. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk through some of the products before like start. First of all I picked up this super jelly super jelly cleansing gel which looks like this comes with this kind of packaging. I haven't opened any of these yet. So I don't know what any of them are like. I don't know what they smell like. Oh this comes in this kind of packaging. Really cute. This is for rebalancing and refreshing the skin. Um I think you can I'm pretty sure you can take off your makeup with this or you can use it just as a cleanser after you've removed your makeup um, which I think is really cool so you can use it for both kind of things. I don't know how much this was, I'll leave the price on the screen just because I can't remember everything obviously. All of these items I've got to mention are definitely under £10 I think so yeah. Um, so this is what it looks like, it comes with 150 millilitres, really nice packaging, really like it, I'm excited to try this. It does give you more ink, like more instructions um, and stuff on the box so yeah also Beauty Bay are cruelty free and vegan next I picked up the exfoliating toner I love an exfoliating toner like I love from Pixie I love the glow tonic so I thought I would try this one out and um, yeah this also comes with 150 milliliters of product so yeah let's open her up yes this one looks like this really cute just nice packaging i like the packaging it's simple but it's nice so yeah this is obviously for like a decongesting and smoothing skin and this is for they just say on the on like on the packaging obviously on the website like what skin type is aimed towards so for these two it's both all skin types so you can use it on dry skin oily skin all that kind of thing so yeah Next, next I picked up the hydrating serum, which looks like this. This has 50 millilitres worth of product, and this is for minimising fine lines and hydrating skin. Again, this is all for all skin types. Um, you can mix this. I didn't realise that. I didn't didn't realise that you can mix. I think it's for all the serums. You can mix them in with your moisturiser. I might mix in with the moisturiser but I probably won't for today just because I want to use them separately. It's quite it's quite a big bottle to be fair. When I think about all my other serums they're in a lot of like smaller bottles and um, yeah really nice I can't wait to try this. Next I picked up the day one moisturiser um, this is for normal oily and combination skin types. I thought this would be nice to kind of have as a moisturiser um, for when I'm not feeling too dry or like in the morning when I don't want 
like a thick moisturiser. So this one kind of comes in like a similar packaging to the um, jelly cleanser. It's got like a little pump at the top, which is quite cute. This has 125 millilitres of product. Obviously this one is for protecting and hydrating skin. I think it's a bit thinner um, than like a thicker moisturiser, if that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, the last thing I picked up was the Thirst Trap Rich Moisturiser, which comes in, I think it's like a little tub. <laughs> um, so this is obviously for hydrating and replenishing skin and it's for normal to dry skin types. Um, again, you can mix in, I think, serums with this. Um, and you can use it... You can like apply a thick layer, it says here you can apply a thick layer as a mask and leave on overnight. Um, which is probably something that I would use this for because when I go to bed I like to like be more hydrated. This kind of packaging, I'm only going to use one of the moisturisers today, I'm not going to use both just because I don't need to. If you want me to I can kind of keep you guys updated on my Instagram like through my stories to let you guys know like how I'm getting on with the products and that kind of thing. So yeah, uh, I think I'm ready to take this face off because obviously I look a bit crazy right now. This is my Valentine's Day look. It will probably be up on my Instagram by the time this video is out. Um, so obviously I'll leave my Instagram above or I'll leave it in the description box down below so you can go and check it out if you want to. And if you want to, yeah, up to you. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this face off. Okay, so how I always take my face off is I use the Body Shop Camille Cleansing Butter. I'm just going to use a baby wipe to take this off. I never use... Um, like makeup remover wipes anymore just because I find that they're quite drying on my skin I don't have like particularly dry skin but sometimes I can okay yeah so I've just taken my makeup off I'm gonna go in with obviously the super jelly cleansing gel I don't want to put a lot on, I'm probably just going to put this much on. Yeah, I'm going to use this to cleanse it into the skin. Also guys, this is not a spot. Um, there's a hair coming through and I was trying to pluck it this morning and I didn't realise that it wasn't actually outside the skin yet, it's still inside. It was like a little black dot and I was trying to get it for ages and it's just like irritated my skin a little bit so I'll just go ahead and wash this off and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I just washed my face off. My skin feels really smooth, like really smooth. Um, yeah, I really like that. Um, yeah, it feels really clean, really nice. This is booking me. It's all good, it's not a spot. Thank you so much. Um, I really like it. The smell as well, I don't hate the smell of it. it I can't really... It just, I don't know, it just smells like soap to me. Like, not a bad smell of soap, it doesn't smell like strong, but it also doesn't smell like there's nothing there. Um, I just quite like it, it's quite nice. My skin feels smooth. I enjoy it. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to the toner. So it looks like this. So you have to like twist the top up, so you twist it up and down. And I think it's a pump one, I think. I thought it was a pump one. It's not. Just put a few little drops on there. Cool. This smells a bit stronger. It doesn't smell bad though, like I can't explain the smell. 
definitely picked up a bit of dirt but not too much just a little bit that obviously like excess from my pink look it tingles not that much um but it did tingle on this little thing here i'm not gonna call it a spot it's not a spot like a bit of damaged skin so if you do have spots maybe it will sting a tiny bit on them but like i think you'll be fine again really really like this There's nothing i can say right now that's that's bad or negative because i can't really give a full review on it because i've only used it like this one time but so far i do like this it's really nice um yeah i can't say a bad word about it again my skin feels really smooth um, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep testing out and let you guys know on my Instagram. But yeah, so far, I'm really happy with this. It's the next time I'm obviously going to go in with the hydrating serum, which looks like this. Love it. So this is for, this is great for minimising fine lines and hydrating skin. I do have a couple of fine lines on my forehead, which is something I'm quite conscious about. Um, so yeah, I'm, I like anything that's like pore minimising, fine line minimising, um, anything that's gonna just kind of like help them to not get worse kind of thing um, and also I like I like serums that are for hydrating skin, really like them so yeah let's just go ahead and put a bit, a little bit of on, got a nice little dropper oh this smells, it smells like mint it smells like mints. This goes so. I've just put like five little dots on. I like this. It feels very hydrating, which is something I obviously look for. Um, yeah, I really like this. It smells quite minty. It might just be me, like I just got a hint of mint and I was like, it smells nice. So yeah, my skin, other than this, looks quite good. It's quite glowy. So yeah, let's try move on to the moisturizer. Yeah. I don't know which one to use because obviously I have two of them. I have this top one and then I have this one. I don't really know which one to use. Maybe we'll just we'll stick with this one for now. I will use this one at some point. So yeah. I know, it's quite nice, it's quite light. I have a feeling the other one will obviously be a quite a bit thicker. Mm. This one, <laughs> this one kind of reminds, reminds me of the smell of hospitals. I don't know why. <laughs> that might be really bad. I'm so sorry, but it just reminds me of hospital smell. I think I bought a bit too much on my hand. I think I didn't think I need that much. I feel like this will be nice um, for morning and evening. It sinks into the skin nicely as well. Okay, so obviously I've just finished using not all the products, but the majority of the products. So what do I think? Uh, I'll zoom you guys in so you can see like my full skin, see what it looks like. I apologise or the little situation down here and also if I've got like staining around my eyes again that is from the eyeshadow I was wearing so I'm really sorry about that I'm really happy with it I'm really happy with the skincare um, obviously I, again I can't give my full like thoughts because I haven't been using it for so long like I've only just used it today 
Um, so this is just like a first impressions kind of thing. Um, I am quite happy with everything that I've used. So far, I like the cleanser, 100%. The exfoliator toner, I feel like it's not going to be much different to the Glow Tonic, if, you're, if I'm being deadly serious. So if you already have the Glow Tonic, I don't think it's going to be much different to that. Um, the hydrating serum, I love. I will continue to use that and see how I go with it. Obviously, I only use one of the moisturisers. I will try the other moisturiser out, and if you want me to, I can kind of keep you guys updated on my Instagram just let me know. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the things I've used. Um, I really like this moisturiser. Like, it's very lightweight. Like, I've literally had it on for, like, a couple of minutes. And it's already sunk into the skin. Which is really nice. I hope Beauty Bay do come out with more skincare. I, I would like to have a mask from them that I can use. Like, a more hydrating mask, maybe. They only have one mask out right now which is more for like oily skin types i don't have oily skin at all so i was like that's not gonna work for me and uh, they do have a couple of other serums which i didn't pick up because again they weren't right for my skin type um i would like them to come out with more serums though if you did want to purchase anything from the beauty bay website from their skincare range i will leave the link down in the description below if you don't know what kind of thing you were to go for they do have a like a little system on there which kind of like helps you to choose which products are going to be best for you. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Again, if you want to follow me on my socials, I'll leave them above me. I have Twitter and I have Instagram. And yeah, I will also leave them in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. And I will see you guys in my next one.